sushi that you can carry around on the side of the train. That's like every man's dream. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. If you are a fan of Japanese anime or manga, you would find many stories where the characters enjoy colorful and delicious looking bento meal boxes. The bento are not just in the world of anime and manga, but they are still deeply rooted in our daily lives today. Many children will bring bento to schools that their parents have made for them in the morning. There are many seasonal traditions like hanami where you can enjoy bento outside. And almost every convenience store and supermarket in Japan sells them all year round. But when did this culture start? Why and how are they enjoyed? So today, I'll explain about the history of bento boxes in Japan, as well as how they are enjoyed. In the latter half of the video, Kazu, Harumi, and I, Team Let's Ask Shogo, will eat three of our most recommended ekiben you can buy at Kyoto Station, so you can take a closer look at the actual bento that are enjoyed in Japan today. This video is especially recommended to those who have plans to visit Japan someday to deepen your knowledge about the culture before coming. So, let's go! Then first, let's take a look at the history of bento by breaking it down into four points. 1. Sageju, to enjoy meals at hanami and tea ceremony. 2. Makunouchi bento, to enjoy meals in between watching stage art. 3. Ekiben, to enjoy meals on trains. 4. Karaben, cutely designed meals for fun. 1. Sageju, to enjoy meals at hanami and tea ceremony. The culture of carrying simple food outside to eat during work, travel, or at war existed in Japan since the Heia period about 1,000 years ago. However, the origins of the bento boxes that we imagine today began to be made during the latter half of the Sengoku War era. At this time, Bento boxes were luxurious entertainment for the people of the upper class, for them to enjoy meals outside during events, like hanami or autumn leaf viewing. These gorgeous bento boxes were called sakeju, and they would put the meal, plates, chopsticks, bottles, and cups to drink sake in one box. Not only were they meant to carry the meal and savor its taste, but also to enjoy the colorful lunch with their eyes and to feel the glossy lacquered lunch boxes, appreciating the moment of seasonal celebrations with all five senses. 2. Makunouchi bento, to enjoy meals in between stage arts. After the Sengoku War era, the long and peaceful Edo period began. The lives of the common people became stable, and the culture of eating bento at hanami and autumn leaf viewing finally became common among everyone. Out of the various bento culture that spread during this period, the makunouchi bento was a type of bento that was especially famous, and it even exists today. One of the most popular form of entertainment among the people during the Edo period was going to watch plays like kabuki. And this bento was eaten during the break time of the plays. Makunouchi literally means the time when the curtains are down from the end of one scene to the beginning of the next scene. Today, makunouchi bento are sold in almost any bento shop to be enjoyed anytime you like. And the image is more like a bento that has various kinds of items. 3. Ekiben, to enjoy meals on trains. The long and peaceful Edo period came to an end, with the westernized Meiji government taking over in 1868. In order to make Japan a more modernized country with strong military power, the government promoted opening railways 
throughout Japan. This is when the famous Ikiben Station Bento was born, to be sold at stations for travelers to enjoy during their train rides. Each region used special ingredients to make their local cuisine as a way to promote their cities and to attract tourists to their tourist sites. Again, the three kinds of bento we'll be showing you later in this video are these ekiben that can be bought at Kyoto Station. 4. Kyaraben – Cutely designed meals for fun After a loss of World War II and the end of the Meiji government, Japan experienced a rapid economic growth that lasted about 20 years due to technological innovation, increasing investment, and an abundant young workforce. Bento boxes started to be sold everywhere in Japan, from convenience stores to grocery stores, and it became common for everyone to buy and eat them at home too. However, the most representative kind of bento today would surely be the kyaraben, which is an abbreviation of character bento. People started to make bento while using specific ingredients to make cute and beautifully designed animals and anime characters. These were usually made by parents for their kids to take to school. But why would they use so much time and effort to make something that's going to be eaten and gone just a few hours later? Not only is it fun and enjoyable to make, but also sharing unique karaben on SNSs with others is a trend. There are even some people who believe that the more effort you put into making your children's bento, the better parent you are. So it's a kind of way to show off too. Then everyone, thank you so much for waiting. Let us introduce to you some of Kyoto's best ikiben that you can enjoy too when you visit Japan. All right, so everyone, I have Harumi and Kazu. All right. So Kazu and I went to Kyoto Station today yep. to get three ekiben, you know, the type of bento that are bought at these stations. So Harumi, you have the... Obanzai Nihon Ryori Nadaman. Nadaman. No Obanzai Bento. Right, so this is the really the Kyoto traditional kind of mm. meal mm. in the bento style, I believe, yes. And Kazu, you have? The... I have Kyoto Gyu to Dashimaki Bento from Manzarate. From Manzarate. Yeah. Kyoto beef and, and uh, rolled eggs. Rolled eggs with dashi. Soup stock, it, yeah, soup mm -hmm, stock, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. which are both Kyoto style as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because each region has its own dashimaki style. Mm -hmm. and this is probably the Kyoto style. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kyoto has beef too. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, you know. And mine is Rokse. It's a temari zushi bento. So temari zushi is really shaped round kind of sushi. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. I'll let you see it later too. Mm -hmm. All right. So then. Each person is going to be eating one bento. We tell you what they taste like, so you can take a look at it when you come to Kyoto too. Yeah. All right? So let's start eating it then. So Harumi, you can start eating yours. Hi. You can open it up. Go ahead. Itadakimasu. Ah, right? There's a lot of different... How many types of meals are there inside? There's some desserts in it too, we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The ma matcha one, I think. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And the black bean is probably sweet black bean too, so... Mm -hmm. Wow. So... This is the fun part about the bonsai and Kyoto. You get to you know, try out different tastes in small mm. portions. Mm. So... Right. Right. Mm. Are there like any rules on how you need to eat it? or probably Probably not. Right? I, I, you know, I had a lot of guests asking me like when they eat like kaiseki yori or like these kind of food, they would ask me like what pattern we should eat and such, but I think not. Unless they're like your training tea ceremonies, and eating it inside tea ceremonies, I think it's not a problem. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then go ahead, anything you like. Gambo. 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 I don't know how to explain that in English. <laughs> It's really hard to explain what gumbo tastes like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gumbo is gumbo, right? <laughs> exactly. I think this is like the, the nimono corner here, right? I think. Nimono. Stewed vegetables. Mm. And... Soup sauce. 
That's right, exactly. Mm. These ekiben are all made like that. Yeah. Uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That is s e a w e e d Yep, that's s e a w e e d Yep. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. Inside. <laughs> okay, I, I get what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. I'm really not a big fan of seeds, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I don't like kombu. At all. Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like it actually. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that don't know,、um, Shogo is actually a really picky eater. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am. Like, definitely. From high school, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all my life. Yeah, yeah like there's、that. a lot of things that everyone's like sharing.、Uh, and like, Shogo's like,、oh, nah, I'm nah. okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat that. I'm not gonna eat that either. I'm not gonna eat that either. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's me, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Is it really sweet or? Um, Just a little bit. Okay, okay, that's good. Ah,、uh, I understand. Because、mm-hmm. you don't want something like really sugary sweet after having all of these、yeah. Japanese style foods. So. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess it's a perfect balance. Alright, good.、Mm. Well, it's like a full course then in this small box. So, it's like a design that's kind of 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 like a design that's Next bento. Next bento. <laughs> bento. Alright, so Kazu, you have the Kyoto beef and the dashimaki bento. Yep. It looks really good. It does, indeed. Yeah. You can, you can go ahead. You can start eating. Really? Okay. Let me jump right into it. You know, compared to the one that Harumi ate, it was like really different. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. This one is like really meat. simple, right? Yeah, it's like simple. Two p a r t you know. This is the Kyoto beef yep, part. That's right. And the dashimaki tamago part.、Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna dig into the Kyoto beef part first. Awesome. The leeks are probably kujoniki.、Mm-hmm. The、yeah. leeks, yeah,、There's、made in Kyoto. On top. So one big bite.、Mm. And this? Really good. Really, really good.、Mm. Mm. So the beef,、um, it's rather a kind of sweet、oh, kind, okay. actually.、Mm-hmm. The kujoniki, which is on top, the、mm-hmm. leek, is also really good because like, the beef is sweet, right?、Mm-hmm. And the leek is a little bit salty. Oh. So, it's like a perfect balance, right? Okay, okay,、mm. okay. And then the rice,、mm-hmm. um, I think it might be better if you like warm it up a little bit. Okay, okay. But still, even if it's cold,、mm-hmm. the rice isn't like too sticky. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can really enjoy it. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. This is like, like one of the most typical kinds of ikiben, I think.、Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you can like, enjoy it on your like, train ride. Or... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you know, the bento that's like sold at convenience stores, the rice can be a, like sticky, as you、mm. said, not really good sometimes. Well, because you know, the bento that's sold at convenience stores, they will warm it for you. Yeah, they're like meant to be. Yeah, exactly. They're meant to be, meant to be warm. So this one is, is meant to be really good when, even if it's still cold. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. The quality of the rice is completely different. Yeah, it is.、So. Okay, so next one. And yeah, the egg there, the dashimaki. Dashimaki Kyoto cell. So you're, well, we're both from Hiroshima, but、yeah. my, my mother's from Kyoto, but. So this must be the salty kind. Yeah, it is. So I think in like Hiroshima or in Fukuoka, that side, the southern side、mm-hmm. in Japan,、mm-hmm. would have sugar. Yeah,、taste? sugary taste.、Mm-hmm. Like、yeah, exactly. exactly. Sweet kind of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. And you know, While you were talking, I was trying to <laughs> pick it up. And, yeah. yeah. If you like, look closely, I、uh-huh. thought there w a s four pieces,、uh-huh. but actually, there's only two. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so really? Yeah, that's like humongous. I was trying to like take one part oh, off. Oh, of really? Actually one, so like, yeah. I, was oh, I did not that. notice that. Look at this. Oh. This, is, this is one piece. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. I think you should break yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna respect this. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. yeah I mean, okay. Eat it in one bite. Go ahead, go ahead, if you say so, yeah. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's salty, right? I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right, that's right. <laughs> wow. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I recommend not eating it in one bite. <laughs> I think it, it's best when you yeah. eat it with the beef. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So like, like I said, the beef is sweet, right? Mm -hmm. And the eggs are salty. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. So like, this is also a perfect match. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend is eat the beef with the rice, mm -hmm. and then next eat the beef with the egg. Okay. Yeah, that's, okay, that's like okay. maybe another way to enjoy this mento. Oh, even awesome. More. Oh, so this time you broke it in half then. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no more. To, to eat with the beef, right? Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, it looks really good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I am gonna enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> then I've been waiting, so to the next bento. My turn. <laughs> so finally, my turn to eat my bento. So, folks, say. Himari mm. sushi. It looks really, really good. Yeah. It does. I'm in love with sushi, so. Mm -hmm. Who isn't? <laughs> true, true, true. true. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh, the fragrance is really nice. Mm, it smells really good. The salmon is definitely not the regular sushi salmon. This is smoked salmon. Yeah. So there's the smoked salmon and cod. Shrimps and the eel. Conger eel? Conger eel, yeah. Conger eel, we were mm. saying, yes. Oh, hold on. Seems there's the soy sauce. Soy sauce in it, too. Yeah, the soy sauce in this, mm. yes. The so little yeah. fish. Exactly. Shape of a fish. Let me kind of put it on top. Yeah. Maybe not too much on the uh, mm. smoke sauna. I think it already had a strong taste. So. Good, this looks perfect. I love all four types of the sushi mm. here. I'll go with the small salmon. <laughs> yes. Thank you. My. The simple, most powerful comment. Mm. <laughs> My. My. Mm. Smoked salmon, it was. Mm. Very different from the regular salmon, but. Because after you buy, you won't immediately eat it, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if it's the regular salmon, I think it wouldn't last as long as uh, the smoked yeah, salmon. Maybe, maybe, yeah. That's probably the reason why. Mm -hmm. But still, it's really good anyway. So mm -hmm. really, really good. Then we'll go for the cod as well. Mm, exactly, it's really small, so... Mmm. 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 What? What? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, say something. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> I think they're all lightly seasoned mm. with salt or something. Mm. Is that something spe special for temari sushi? Or maybe it's because it's in the bento style. Oh, okay. Mm. I don't know. I need to look that up actually. But it's lightly seasoned. It has a little bit of salty taste to it added to it. Mm. Mm. Really, really good too. So it's, the taste is completely different from the regular sushi that we imagine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's just different. All right, let me see how the shrimp is different too. What are y'all four types? Mmm, mmm. Yep, they're all lightly seasoned. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. Is there wasabi on it? No, no wasabi. No wasabi. And there is no wasabi in it either. Oh, so. okay. Last, the eel. Mm, mm. Good. It's really good. And the eel doesn't have a salty taste. Oh, really? I think there, there is some sweet yeah, yeah. sauce on it. Mm, really, really good. Mm. In the beginning, I thought maybe the saltiness of the smoked salmon kind of got to the other fish, mm. but they're definitely seasoned separately. Mm, they no. taste completely different, so. Really, really good. And I only ate half of it so far, but I'm getting pretty full. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they look really cute, you know, the round, small sushi, but it, it has quite a lot of volume, actually. Mm. It does satisfy you a lot. 
really, really, really recommend it, definitely. Sushi that you can carry around on the side of the trick. That's like every man's dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then, the lastly, today's conclusion. The history of bento boxes can be broken down into four points. One, sageju, to enjoy meals at hanami and tea ceremony. A very gorgeous bento box with not only the delicious meal, but with tableware and sake. Sageju was used when the people of the upper class enjoyed hanami and autumn leaf viewing. 2. Makunouchi bento To enjoy meals in between watching stage art. During the peaceful Edo period, watching stage art like kabuki was very popular among commoners. Makunouchi bento was meant for the audience to enjoy during the break in between plays when the curtains are down. 3. Ekiben to enjoy meals on trains. As a way to modernize Japan, the government promoted creating railways throughout Japan during the Meiji period. This is when ekiben were sold at stations for the passengers on trains to eat, and for each region to attract tourists to their city. 4. Kalaben Cutely designed meals for fun. After the period of high economic growth in the late 20th century, bento became even more common in Japan as something sold at every grocery store. Also, the kalaben using ingredients to make cute animals and anime characters became very popular for parents to make for their children to take to school. So that's it for today, thank you very much for watching. If this video made you want to try out Japanese bento someday, please hit the like button to let me know. And our goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help is what we need. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. And please, check out our membership and sub-channel in the description box. Thanks again, and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.